friends, I thought I'd vlog today because I am child free for the first time in such a long time and yeah I just thought I'd vlog because I've been really ill this week and um, I haven't actually filmed a video of what, I, what we've been up to in such a long time. Um, yeah so today I've just got to go to town, I'm going to go to Balham I think because Balham is one of the places nearby to us that I just love. I love going there. I just love the vibes. It feels a bit like Bristol to me, but it's obviously much smaller, like loads smaller. Um, so I'm just going to go and like peruse the charity shops because that is how I roll. And I've got to, I'm going to go get ready. I'm going to like curl my hair, I think, or attempt to do something. Oh, I've had it cut off. I've literally filmed so many vlogs since I've had it cut, but not put them up because I've either not been happy with them or not finished them because I've not been very well or it's really weird. Like all the, all of us have had a sickness bug in the last week and it's just dragged out. So we've basically had a week of our lives missing. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoy this video of me just walking around London. Yeah, without the kids, I feel like I don't really know what I can vlog, but people do it. <laughs> so I hope it's um, fairly interesting. Um, yes, yes, I love it. I'm really pleased with my new haircut. I mean, it looks like a right state right now because I've just slept on it. But um, I, yeah, I'm going to go and try and zhuzh it up a bit and I will see you in a wiggle. Okay, so my hair is done. I'm going to do my makeup in a minute, but this is my outfit of the day. I've got this pretty little top from Urban Outfitters that I actually bought in a charity shop for £1 and it's quite cropped so you have to like be careful to not do this too much and then just some black skinny jeans from Gap and then this old vintage belt that I've had for years and I think I got that in a charity shop as well so yeah wrapping the charity shops today nice getting ready in my own time without the boys. It's just so nice when you have a day to yourself. It makes it makes it just worthwhile when you have a moment to just stop and appreciate them without them around. Um, yeah, I really love them and I'm so, so blessed. Oh, I feel like you're here with me, it's nice. I also just thought I'd have a little chat about YouTube and what has been on my mind and my motivations and all that kind of stuff um, recently. I think I haven't been as up for filming, partly because we've not been very well the last week. Before that, just haven't really seen the point. Like, sometimes I just go through that and that's fine. Um, but I do feel pressure to get a video up every week. Um, but. I just need, that's just only for myself, so it's silly. Because um, it's about like finding things to film, things that are interesting, things that um, I'm proud of, or I think what we've really got going for us as a family on this channel is our personalities and the kids' personalities. And um, just like including you in family life, like we've got a real heart to include people into our home um, in real life and through YouTube if that is what we do so um yeah that I think is the plan that God spoke to us a while about a while ago about really witnessing out of our home and how who we are and um, since we've moved we just haven't had much of an opportunity to do that we've had lots of people over for meals and getting to know people but um we want to like we want it to go beyond, above and beyond that with people we don't know. So this is a really good way of doing that for us. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to just get my mojo back, get my oomph back a bit more, get my motivation back. The other reason why I haven't filmed is um, I went to the doctors because I was feeling really low, but also just no energy and so tired. And they took a blood test and realized that I am incredibly anemic. So my iron levels were like seven which is really low, it should be like 
up there like 13 and above she said we're not going to stop until you're 17 so I've got 10 iron counts to do I don't know what that means but I've been taking me me iron tablets um yeah I honestly see it working like within a couple of weeks it's made a difference because I must have just had no oxygen in my blood or haemoglobin or <laughs> no oxygen in my blood um, yeah, I hope that chat wasn't too boring for you, um, and that is why things have been a bit slow around here, but, um, you know, we're just taking it as it is, we're not like, it's my little project, like, it's it's been something to distract me while I have moved house, like, it's given me a bit of a connection to people while I've been here, and I'm in this quite isolated, like, lonely part of my life, like, that sounds really like depressing but it kind of is like that when you've got two young kids who really need you and who ha who you have to be there to meet their needs 24-7 um, and sometimes that means we can't go on play dates and to be honest there aren't loads of mums here that are around in the week so I'm on my own a lot with the boys and um, I've just ha found that having this um, project as a motivation has really helped me just stay sane so that is why we do this that is why um, I enjoy making videos and sharing our lives with you so thank you so much to everyone for all your support to all the new subscribers that I've got recently um, you've kind of joined as things have slowed down and I'm really sorry um, but I'm hoping to get the ball rolling a bit more and get to know you all if you're a silent viewer and you don't normally comment please comment down below because I'd love to hear from you know who you are where you're watching from um, yeah thank you guys I just remembered while I was washing up this might be TMI <laughs> I'm not sure my husband will feel how my husband will feel about me sharing this but I had a really raunchy dream about Mark Ferris last night which is so weird it wasn't that raunchy we met at a pub and were like flirting and hanging out Mark Ferris is if you don't know he's one he's a vlogger um, and he's hilarious, he's so lovely, he lives in Croydon and um, I dreamt that I was driving through Croydon and I just saw him outside a pub and I was like, Mark! and I got out of my car and I went and had a drink with him which is so weird um, but uh, yeah, I really want to bump into him so I can tell him that <laughs> I don't know how he'd take it <laughs> sorry Mark right so I'm just about to leave um, but I thought I'd show you the rest of what I'm wearing oh I haven't got my shoes on yet either, oh well sure you see them at some point. I've got this cap on which is John's but I thought it would just look pretty cool with this bomber jacket and then I've got on me bomber. This is from Zara and I absolutely love it, it's a reversible one and then I've got my rucksack, my, my classic rucksack which is a like vintage, I don't know where it's from, I think it's from John Lewis Um, my dad used to have it in like the 90s and uh, a lady I, I'm a lady at Saxon's preschool went, I've got that bag I bought in John Lewis 20 years ago. So, um, that's quite funny. The weather in Ballant today is literally rough. No, it's just complete grey sky. Earlier I was excited about it being autumn and now I am less excited because it's chucking it down. British August for oh ya. Yeah. I went to an amazing cafe and um, there's a brand of cafes in South London called Blackbird Bakery and I didn't film in there because it was really busy but I got everything vegan. I got um which I love just to be able to do that out and you can do it in London you can't in like smaller places so what did I get? I got a avocado and hummus salad sandwich and that was so good and then what else did I get? I got um, oh a vegan chocolate cake and a cup of tea it was lovely so we've got a really busy weekend this weekend because we're seeing my family tomorrow I've got a really big family um, on my mum's side so my grandma who sadly my nanny she'd hate you if I called her grandma <laughs> my nanny sadly passed away um f about I think it was six or seven years seven or eight years ago a long time ago now um from cancer um and she was young she was 61 when it happened so she was really young 
um, and she was one of five sisters and the four other sisters and all of their family meet up every year and this year it's tomorrow and then um, the day after that we're catching up with our really best friends Lauren and Mark and we haven't seen them in ages um, and we're gonna hang out and they've got two boys as well who are a similar age to ours so yes it's gonna be a lovely weekend I'm well excited but I've got to sort the flat out before we go because there's nothing worse than getting home to like crummy floors and la laundry and washing up so that is the plan I'm gonna just whack on some music I think and get down to it I'm just putting away some laundry and um, I thought I'd just say that my friend, one of my really good and really old friends, uh, she's not really old but we go way back, <laughs> um, sorry if you're watching this Serena, you're not old, um, she has just released a EP, oh no sorry, she's just about to release an EP and um, I'm singing on it, I'm doing the backing vocals for three of the songs. Three of the songs, no, two of the songs. And when it's out, I will let you all know um, so you can go and get it and listen to it because she is brilliant and I feel so honoured and privileged to be on her, her EP. So this is her second EP, her first one's out. Her name is Serena Dalton and if you haven't already gone and had a listen, then please do because she's really good. It's Christian music but it's not like um, cheesy church songs. <laughs> It's um, it's like really jazzy, bluesy, country. She's just got a really lovely voice and she's very talented at songwriting. So please go check her out. Um, I thought I'd just show you what I got in town because um, I got something for Saxon's birthday and then a couple of bits from charity shops and some stuff from TK Maxx. And I really like it. So I uh, bought... John a surprise present because which I don't really do much because I he's quite fussy about clothes that he wears believe it or not so <laughs> that was a bit mean I didn't mean it like that um so I got him this jumper and it's by a brand called Casual Friday and it's just like a really big cozy khaki jumper with um, little like arrow design on it and yeah I really like that so I hope he likes it too I'm going to surprise him later and get him to try it on um, I bought myself this pretty thin woolen like knitwear jumper and it's just grey of course and then it's got um, like a pretty um, kind of all, like chiffon-y fabric um, like skirty bit on it which I really like um, and then <laughs> for Saxon we bought this I bought this hilarious um, builder's outfit look it's got tattoos on the arms um, and little walkie talkie and it comes with some what's it called some um, tools my brain and a little builder's hat and this is in the sale we got it for his birthday because he's got no dressing up stuff and look it's got like a puffed out six pack on the top <laughs> and um, it was only £9 so that was a bit of a bargain and then I got this top as well which I think was oh that was 2 50 and it's like a really sweet flannel shirt um, and it's from Oshkosh so I really like that and then I also got this little Moomin bear bear Moomin 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 because I just can't bear to leave these things in the shop and I love the Moomins so he was mine <laughs> although it will be Saxon's probably or Ezra's, depending on who takes to it the most. And then um, I obviously just bought some dental hygiene stuff. Yeah, so these are all the things I bought, I think. Is that everything? Yeah. 